I promise to have my hair done the next time you guys saw me. But, you know, life happens. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to check in to say, if you weren't able to be a productive parent today, don't beat yourself up. I promised myself that I was going to do something amazing with my kids because it's been a few days and we're all going a little stir crazy. But then I woke up with a stomach bug. Actually, I didn't even wake up. I didn't even get to go to sleep because the stomach bug just, it really got to bugging. You know what I mean? I don't want to go into details, but I will say that my small intestines sounds like it is playing its own orchestra. And, um... Needless to say, there's not a lot that can be done with them at this point. And on days like this, I typically feel extremely guilty because I want to engage them and I want to be this like wonderful powerhouse of imagination and fun that they can come to when there's nothing to really do outside because it's too cold. And we live in a small city where there's not really a lot to do. But um, I didn't get to do that today. And I actually stayed in the bed for most of the day because by the time my stomach got done beatboxing, it was like, what, five in the afternoon after it started at eight in the morning. Um, I'm still scared to eat, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> or drink anything, but I'm going to try. Anyway, that's not the point. Just having a little trauma here. Um, I usually beat myself up about those things, but I'm learning to congratulate myself. A part of what made me miserable in the past is I would always have these moments where I thought about what I could have done and I didn't appreciate what I have done. And so my kids are fed. They are safe. Um, their dad took really good care of them today. He did not need me. So I was able to rest as much as I, I could without running back and forth. And I'm just really grateful that I have a space where I can go just lay down, relax if I need to. I have a person I can lean on in that moment. I have kids who are understanding, um, who can entertain themselves. Yes, they are on the forbidden Apple products, but they're ABC mousing it up. You know, YouTube is a reward. They get to do those things. They've played with blocks. They've engaged their imagination. They've done everything I would typically still beat myself up about because I wasn't involved in it. And learning to remove myself from situations and not having so much control over everything is what's really causing an increase in my happiness. I saw a video the other day and I don't want to steal anyone's quote, but I can't remember what the lady's name is. I just know that she said that when you relinquish control, you'll be amazed at how much happiness you have. What? My son is looking at me in my eyes while he does the, you know, the poo thing where they have to make eye contact with you. I'm never sure if I should maintain the eye contact or look away. Either way, ADD. Today, I just want to say that if you weren't able to show up for yourself in the ways in which you wanted to, be happy that you showed up for yourself in the way that you did. Because there are probably a million things that you're not applauding yourself for that you did today that you might not have otherwise done. Like I applaud myself for relinquishing control and taking a moment for self-care because honestly, as a mom, it's so hard to put yourself in this mindset that the world goes on without you. Like I always think I am so needed. I am not. I'm not needed. And that feels so great to say, like, I'm, I am not needed. And as an AI <laughs> turning into a real person, because I have been hidden behind that command mode so long, I must say that I am grateful today and that I am very proud of myself for taking care of myself in the ways that I have taken care of so many others. It feels good to feel grateful. It feels magnificent to feel joyful because, A, I just want to feel real. Now have a good day.